all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel and today we've got some more news to talk about for cyberpunk 2077 we got more gameplay from much 118 that shows off some new abilities we have gameplay of the gorilla arms mantis blades mono wire and projectile launch system along with that we've got some new details regarding vehicle combat and car chases we have new story details that have just recently dropped and of course the new night city wire is back this time it's going to feature idris elba as solomon reed himself where the stream is going to go over some new gameplay and new abilities and they said they're going to throw in a surprise or so that could mean that this is the reveal event for the cyberpunk 2.0 update so check the video chapter as to optimize your viewing experience and let's get it going first we have to talk about some new story and lore details as we've got a brand new concept art image that gives us some details regarding the black sapphire so the post says this the very definition of clandestine the so black sapphire is owned by kurt hansen and is located on top of his sanctuary and it lures in elite players not just from night city but all around the world it's a secure place to make all sorts of shady deals secure from all except the watchful eye of kurt naturally so before we get into the nightwire stream we have to talk about some new details regarding the 2.0 updates vehicle combat and car chases so this is from the cyberpunk news feed and the article says this and i quote today we're taking a look at another new feature coming to cyberpunk 2077's base game as a part of the free update 2.0 which will be available for current gen consoles and pcs vehicle combat and car chases there are in fact three new ways to take out enemies from the safety of your car besides just running into them they then said don't get us wrong that's always an option but make sure not to explode or flatline your yourself so the three options are as followed the first option is a new one and is shooting your pistols or smgs either from the back of your motorcycle straight through your car's windshield or out of its side window now in the case of cars with crystal dome tech you can instead open the sliding doors and shoot out that way while on a bike you can also use melee weapons to attack enemies or even slice open the wheels of other cars the next option is using brand new mounted weapons available on certain nomad cars that utilize the crystal dome technology those gatling guns will make swiss cheese out of anyone standing in in your way the last and much more subtle approach to vehicle combat can be taken with a new car hacking abilities for netrunners and by subtle we mean you could straight up explode other cars make them slam the brakes or accelerate them without stomping and more options are available for the most skilled netrunners out there they then went on to say that car chases can happen more naturally now with the ncpd actively chasing you if you try to get away as detailed in our last article from this series or as seen in the latest red streams episode and they close this blog by saying with these new options at your disposal wreaking mayhem out on the streets of night city has never been easier or more fun moving right along to our next bit of news we have another live stream that is scheduled a big event is happening night city wire is back officially and we've got some details on what that stream is going to entail because this very well could be the last night city wire that we get for a long time possibly until the sequel to cyberpunk 2077 so according to the cyberpunk twitter they said this and i quote night city wire is back with a special phantom liberty episode we'll talk new radios learn more about solomon reed and idris elba himself discuss game gameplay and new abilities and throw in a surprise or two you don't want to miss it and this is of course taking place on Thursday September 14th at 5 p.m cest and 8 a.m pdt so the marketing for Phantom Liberty is slowly starting to ramp up we got Idris Elba going to be on this stream it's going to be an insanely hyped event now the biggest question that everyone is asking is will this be the event where we finally get the release date for the 2.0 update and honestly I think all signs are pointing for yes the 2.0 update is likely already ready same with the expansion so announcing that during this stream would be extremely hyped i mean guys this night city wire is gonna have idris elba on it so of course they're gonna try to give us some big news and they said it themselves they're dropping in a surprise or two and i firmly believe that one of those surprises will be a hot drop of the 2.0 update on thursday september 14th i honestly don't see them waiting any longer like this would be the perfect opportunity like i said so there is a very strong possibility that we will all be playing the 2.0 update on thursday which i think is the perfect amount of time like we got phantom liberty that's dropping on the 26th so for everyone that wants to experience the 2.0 update before they jump into phantom liberty we will likely have 12 days to play through cyberpunk 2.0 that is if they decide to hot drop the update on the 14th now it could be a situation where they wait until the 15th which is honestly fine like the longer that they give us with the 2.0 update the more the people are going to be ready and willing to jump into phantom liberty as soon as the expansion drops which i think also helps them as well especially whenever it comes to optics like it'd be really weird for phantom liberty to drop and then once it releases everybody will still be playing through the 2.0 update until they get their character to the point where the expansion starts then everyone will start playing the expansion which could be like a few days after the release date of phantom liberty so releasing it this week is the best case scenario and honestly if you look at the replies of this tweet i wouldn't want cyberpunk to have any blowback so if they don't release it this week it would just be really weird for them that's why i think they just told people that there's going to be a surprise or two so unless that other surprise or two is something really crazy people might be disappointed if they don't hot drop the update so moving on to our next bit of news we've got some brand new gameplay from much 118 that just like the last video that they posted looks incredible the video showcase 
showcases new unlockable abilities for gorilla arms mantis blades mono wire and projectile launch system and it all looks really sick like the finishers in this game are going to be crazy i mean guys you have to watch this video it looks insane you're going to be able to delete people with the gorilla arms the mantis blades either have a new unlockable ability or that's like some finisher that looks insane and then of course there's the mono wire like who is not going to love the mono wire that really is going to be such a fun time to play with i can't wait to just create builds around all of these new abilities and i'm just trying to think like how long is this going to take us to do all of this new stuff the 2.0 update and phantom liberty is just going to add so much new content and i can't wait to just dive in and get lost and immersed in this world i'm about finished with my rewatch of edge runners so i am ready to get into the cyberpunk universe again oh i also forgot to talk about the projectile launch system which looks like it packs an even bigger punch than the base game which i guess is pretty fitting since it's an arm cyberware i thought the projectile launcher was okay in the base game but it definitely wasn't as good but from this video it looks like a viable option so i might actually have to try it sometime but yeah once again major kudos to much 118 for making an incredible video it's just getting me even more hyped to play this game again so for this bit of news we have some comments from a lead scene programmer at cdpr which is in regards to the 2.0 update and the expansion on pc so they tweeted out before release of cyberpunk 2.0 and phantom liberty please check the conditions of your cooling system we use all what you have so workload on cpu 90 percent on eight cores is expected to save your time please run cinebench or similar to check stability of your systems and of course after this tweet was sent the media kind of ran with it they were able to get their clicks in by saying that the cyberpunk 2.0 and phantom liberty is going to melt your pc which was obviously an over exaggeration but they actually had to clarify their tweet because that is what happens in the year of 2023 they went on to quote the post by saying follow up to my previous tweet they said my intention was to highlight the need to maintain your cooling systems and check them regularly neither cyberpunk 2077 or phantom liberty will melt your pcs game will perform well on recommended hardware so yeah as expected this developer was just saying it in a cheeky way but i thought the psa was totally fine it actually gave me a reason to run cinebench and test everything which is obviously running optimally especially with my new 4090 yeah i picked up a 4090 for the new 2.0 update in phantom liberty i'm going to be playing the game on pc so i want this thing to look as good as possible an rtx overdrive i'm coming for you but i think this is the perfect segue in talking about the pc specs if you guys plan on playing phantom liberty and the 2.0 update on pc well for the recommended specs without any ray tracing at 1080p 60 they recommend an i7 12700 with a ryzen 7 7800 for the gpu they recommend an rtx 2060 super or the radeon rx 5700 xt or the arc a770 with 8 gigabytes of vram 16 gigabytes of ram and a 70 gigabyte ssd yes this game requires an ssd and then for the rt recommended this is with ray tracing at ultra at 1080p 60 they recommend a core i9 12900 a ryzen 9 7900 x an rtx 3080 ti a radeon rx 7900 xtx with 12 gigabytes of vram 20 gigabytes of ram and of course a 70 gigabyte nvme drive and then if you want to do rt overdrive like i'm doing this is at 2160p at 60 fps and it requires an i9 12900 ryzen 9 7900 x a geforce rtx 4080 16 gigabytes of vram 24 gigabytes of ram and a 70 gigabyte nvme so yeah if you just go with those recommended minimum specs then your pc is going to be fine honestly if it gets to a point where it's overheating it's just going to blue screen so you should be perfectly fine but just in case i would watch your temperatures especially if you haven't played a graphically intensive game in a while so it's best to be safe than sorry obviously i checked my 4090 on minecraft it's running great it's like 300 fps it's so amazing gotta love buying a 4090 just to play minecraft but yeah hopefully on thursday we will all be playing cyberpunk's 2.0 update i really hope that that event is really good and they just hot drop the 2.0 update it's going to be nice to hear from Andrew elba but let's be honest we're all going to be there for the ultimate surprise and that is to finally get to play this update hopefully you guys enjoyed my coverage if you did do me a favor leave a like subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on and until next time this has been wes and i'll talk to you guys in the next video